Good Friday morning. <clears throat> this is going to be actually a little bit of a pattern update, a brief pattern update. I don't want to go into too much information, but um, I want to take a look at April. And um, although winter, I believe, strongly is over in terms of snowfall for the Mid-Atlantic, not for Vermont, but for the Mid-Atlantic, um, it, it's there's increasing evidence that April is going to be a below average month for temperatures, and that means a lot of temperatures in the high 40s and low 50s, which isn't nice. I mean, obviously there'll be temperature, there'll be days that are much nicer than that, but overall as an average, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a cold, uh, warm month. And let me show you why. There's a couple things I look at for climate signals. The models are one, I and mean, you have to look at other things such as something called the Matt and, Matt and Julian oscillation. Basically, it's just an area of convection in the tropics, and it basically moves from, moves from region to region. So you got the, you got, you know, it's Western Pacific, there's Western Hemisphere in Africa, Indian Ocean. It's just an area of convection. Convection meaning thunderstorms. Okay, based on where this convection is forming, it influences the jet stream, especially over North America. And the models are projecting this is going to go into the Indian Ocean, this area of convection. So, you have, um, that's phase two and phase three of the MJO. So the question is, what happens when that area of thunderstorms or convection goes into the Indian Ocean. How does it impact our climate here? And if we take a look back at, if we take a look at historical data on that, you can see phase two and phase three for April are below normal for temperatures. So, and this is a pretty strong MJO, seeing that it's not in the circle. If this line was in the circle, I mean, well, it's not much activity, but that's the first thing I'm looking at, okay? Second thing, let's look at the models, okay? So this is um, a European weekly model focused on April 8th, and you can see we have high pressure at 18,000 feet over the top, top, possible negative North Atlantic oscillation developing up here. You have a ridge in the west, you have a trough in the east. Again, this is not good news for the east coast in terms of uh, active stormy weather. Now, I really don't think um, it's going to snow again where we are, but I certainly think this pattern setting up for interior areas, especially northern New England, uh, to see more snowfall uh, for the next couple of weeks, and um, that's 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 pretty neat, I think at least, because we, you know, we if, if, again, I'm a skier, and it gives you a chance to go up there and do some last minute skiing. But for people who want to sit outside and enjoy the sun, this is not the pattern for you. Um, it looks like this pattern will probably break uh, by the end of April, but uh, until then, uh, we'll have a little bit of a warm up coming um, after the the uh, the rainstorm this weekend, as you can see here. Okay, so very nice weather to start the week and end the week, and then um, the cat comes out of the bag in terms of stormy weather for the following week uh, with potential um, <clears throat> storms developing. And in fact, if you look at the Canadian model projection, the Canadian mo model saying, hey, look, you know, over the next 10 days, there's that epicenter, northern Vermont, and this changes every day, by the way, but just to show as an illustration, you know, Vermont, the Anirondacks, Maine, watch out, there's going to be some snow up there, and obviously we're all wet down here. So um, the pattern is um, changing seasonally, but uh, it still wants to hold on to uh, cold air um, relative to the month of April, and uh, we're just having to deal with that. Um, I'll, I'll write a post sometime this weekend and go more detail um, on, on some other drivers behind that. But uh, overall, going to be colder, and we have to watch for storm development, um, say anywhere from April 6th or April 7th to April 11th. Um, Everything I look at says there could be a developing coastal storm at that time. Again, that's very speculative, but if I have to use long-range forecasting tactics, that's what I'm looking at. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, patterns should look something like this with a little bit of a split flow developing again and the critical component of high pressure over the top, which if any storm forms, it, uh, it allows it to slow down, wind up, and hug the coast. So that's all for now. Thanks for checking in. Um, and uh, more updates to come.